Hello. I've been having lots of fun with uh, Mound Maker Co-op recently, and I've been very surprised how much activity I've been getting. So I thought I'd share my th the fun I've been having. So uh, I put my summon sign down as a Mound Maker, and the first summoner I get, I find hiding in this room. Um, I'm not sure what his plan was for me. Um, he seemed to know what the Mound Makers were about and what I can and cannot do in his world. Um, so he orders me outside, which is fine. I'm gonna. What I was planning on doing was playing along with these hosts until an opportune moment came, and I was going to uh, take the uh, <laughs> take the opportunity to kill them. Um, but before that happens, uh, another invader shows up. Um, he's pretty good. He's quite tweaked out. He's got Carla's hat on. He's obviously got some late game gear. So uh, I try my best to uh, stay out of it and not pick a side until I can uh, judge who the, uh, who's going to be the better player. So I sort of mess around a bit, do some twirlies, and right here, that's when I take my opportunity to go for the red. Gets a nice <laughs> reverse <laughs> reverse parry on me, but I still manage to get the back down. Busy, uh, spamming on the host. So at this point, I've gone for the red a little bit, and he's all riled up against me. And the host probably thinks I'm on his side. And at this point here, I think, hmm, you know what? I think the host needs a little bit of a beating as well. So, uh, yep, I start attacking the host there. And I think at this point, uh, they're all rather confused about what my motivations are. I think I'm, I'm here to cause as much chaos as possible and have the most amount of fun. Um, I have a lot of fun with these big, massive brawls where it's just a big free-for-all of everyone attacking each other, reds on blues on whites on golds, excellent. So yeah, I'm just taking my opportunities to uh, to attack either the invader or the, or the host. And at this point they both get quite pissed off at me and they both <laughs> forget about using each other and target me. Which is fine, you know. But um, yeah, Dark Spirit ends up killing the Dark Man, of course. I'll give him some uh, some parry spam because he was sp <laughs> spamming for that entire fight. So yeah, that was good fun. So uh, next time I uh, I get some of um, Strange, the, the, the host who is waiting by the bonfire. He, he immediately attacks me, so he obviously knows what I'm about and what and he knows exactly why he's summoned me. He wants to he wants to PvP, he wants a nice, he wants a duel. Not a not a honor duel, he wants to um, duke it out, which I'm quite happy to to uh, to give him what he wants. He's not the most PvP explained uh, PvP experienced, so uh, you know, I don't go don't go crazy on it. Estus, which lets me know that it's not going to be an module, which is fine, you know, I don't like on a duel at all. Some nice roll catches with the uh, straight sword. So yeah, at this point, I'm fed up the dog being there, and I don't want to attack me anymore, so I'll uh, go, on, go ahead and kill the dog. So I think the host is using using the Uchi. So he's obviously managed to kill uh small master. But he's not that bad. You see I've I've started um for these low level non twink, just for fun, um, invasions and carp, I've added heal aid onto my build. Um considering I only have three unupgraded Estus class having heal aid there, um, which can if you unload your FP bar can be another free Estus, it's a very very useful tool to have. So I throw out some charged R2 bait. This this guy obviously isn't PvP experienced, and so I thought I'd go for the tried and true Barker bomb bait, <coughs> which uh, does end up paying off. You can see there he almost did it, but he mistimed his roll. So 
So I keep trying. I know he's going to take the bait. 70% of the time it works every time. As Adam Barnes says. And boom, there it is. Last of one bait down to 17 people. It can be done. So at this point it's just a matter of chasing him down. I don't think he has any more Estus left. And there we go. Roll catch finish. GG sir. Thank you for the fight. And you see, because of heal aid, I didn't have to expend a single Estus on that. Right, for this next one. This one was a good fun. This was one was pretty fun. So uh, I get summoned in and uh, head straight up to the bonfire and see all the horrors are alive. I know exactly where they're going to be. Ah, oh, yes, it was this. This 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 carp session was pretty good. So they they're both very wary of me when I come up. I'm not sure why they summoned me. I don't know if they wanted to gank me or they wanted someone to have uh, have a bit of co-op with, but. They both seem quite wary of me. They, they're both constantly locking on. And they're trying the water by rolling in and rolling out to see if I start to swing. So I thought I'd try and make make friends with them before I betray them. So I dropped them an ember. And you can see they're both incredibly suspicious of me. The white in particular I don't think ever trusted me. Yeah, you see they're rolling in just to see if I swing. I don't react. The white's behind me trying to pretend to backstab me. But eventually they realise I'm not up to much, so they take the amber. I'm, be I'm careful not to make any sudden movements, <laughs> lest they see that as aggression. So, I think by this point they're kind of warily okay with me. Yeah, I'll give them a few little waggles. I go out here to try and kill a hollow to let them know I'm on their side, but he's dead already. So I end up just going down and... Um, Carrying on with the PvP for them, my PvE, sorry. Just to let them know I'm on their side for now. Yep, so at this point they kind of relaxed. They think they're they think I'm on their side, they don't know what I'm about to do to them. <laughs> So uh, we tussled with the Mimic. Uh, I was still, at this point, I'm waiting for an opportunity to kill one of them, but none of them at this point get so low on health I could quickly get in and out with a couple of hits to kill them. So I, I play along and I help them with the Mimic. And uh, yeah, we get, we do that and then we end up going and fighting the Lothric Knight. And again, um, they pretty much steamroll the Lothric Knight, which is fine. <coughs> There's still plenty of plenty of opportunity in front of us, and here an excellent opportunity presented it, itself to me. So the host accidentally falls down, and he goes to fight the thieves. And I think to myself, oh, those barrels explode, don't they? The white drops down, bomb, boom, dead, double kill. Never trust a man, you guys. <laughs> GG. <laughs> So this was another fun one. Let's see if I can remember which one it was. They were all fun. I had a great deal of fun doing all this. It's so surprising how willing people are to summon mount makers from the white sign these days. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> right, so I think they summoned me up for a fight club here. So they're all on the little perch up there. And um, this red rolls up, obviously tweaked out with the Dragon Slayer Axe, and he goes for me. But then he thinks, oh, you know what, fuck this fight club, <laughs> I'm going to go and wreck shit. And I was like, oh, maybe this would be a little more interesting than a boring fight club. So I go and swing a few times and one of the he's really passive, he's, he doesn't want anything to do with this gank. So um, that's fine, I'll leave him be. Uh, at this point I don't quite know how I wanted to play this, whether I wanted to gank the red or if I wanted to help him. Um, 
so I'll go down here to try and bait them all down, or rather bait him up. And I can hear him tussling with the white down there. And as soon as the white comes up, and he gets killed, that's when I'm like, right, okay, I'm on this guy's side. So I'll give him a point down, just because, and let's get this party started. So we both head up here, he switched out to Dark Hand, because it's a scrub. <laughs> uh, again, that phantom seems really passive, so uh, I let the I let the red deal with him, and I go down to the host. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with what the host was doing. He, you know, Uchi Katana, lots of lots of rolling. He didn't seem too PvP experienced. He seemed like a typical host. He likes to host fight clubs, but doesn't like to be in a fight club. <coughs> so he's rolling around. Um, I'm catching his rolls punishing his heels, and he goes, swings three times, don't do that, so I get the nice face tech to carry there. Yep, two, one, two, three combo. So he runs back up, and he obviously wants to help his friend who's getting his shit pushed in by the, uh, the Twin Tower Red, so um, he goes up to help, and um, I'm not sure <laughs> quite what happened to him, because he gets a couple of these uh, katana parries and instead of taking the riposte he just goes for the charged R2. I'm not sure whether he was mocking me or whether he was just mashing the R2 and he accidentally did it, because he does it, does it again later on. Um, he he, really, like, he thinks the, uh, the katana parries are working for him so he keeps going for them and spamming them out and that ends up being a downfall. So yeah, I'm a bit more wary of him this time. Um, See, I'm only throwing out one um, one attack. I'm trying to roll it to the back stab, and there he gets another lucky one. But again, doesn't take the repost. Um, <coughs> so we've pretty much got these guys on the ropes. And it's just a case of um, wearing them down. And I think at this point, um, oh no, Mr. Red's about to. Uh, yeah, he's killed the white, so uh, now the host is uh, a lot less aggressive. His aggression has been turned off now because his phantom is dead. And Miss Katana parry equals death. He gets knocked down. Just spamming parry so much. And I get to celebrate with my twink. <laughs> Good job. Oh, this one was absolutely my favourite. So they summoned me in, and I um, I find them down here. Um, at this point, I don't know whereabouts they are in their progression, so um, I ignore the hit from the claymore, and I go and just show them that I'm uh, willing to help them out. So I go and deal with this Albert Hollow, get a couple of nice parries, just to show them that I'm in business. You got Mr. Onion Knight, Fighter PL. Uh, dark hands, <laughs> twink, there to contend with, and I don't particularly want to tussle with him. He seems like a rough customer. So I go up here and I, you know, kill the hollows, show them that I'm, um, I'm on their side. But um, as you see in a minute, they they've already cleared up the level. They um, they just want to get down the wall. Again, he laid, absolute genius, love it. One of the best miracles at the very very early game. Right, so we run down, run down <laughs> to the to the elevator, and that's when the idea hits me, and I'm <laughs> squealing like a little girl at this point. I'm like, oh god, I gotta get him! As soon as the elevator goes down, kick, gone. <laughs> Don't trust a mound maker, honestly. It's not good for you. Oh dear. Sorry, Mr. Mr. White. Now for the final. Um, now make a co-op invasion of the day. Uh, I get summoned into someone's world who is quite obviously very new to the game, and that becomes immediately evident um, <laughs> by the way that he does it. So um, I immediately try and make friends with him, tussle with the PVE a little bit. Uh, he seems a little bit suspicious of me, probably because um, he can lock on to me. But he, he quickly gets over that as I start to deal with PvE for him. So I call him over and we uh, we go and deal with all the hollows up by the dragon. I proceed to 
shit, my, pu my shit pushed in by a bunch of hollows. So we'll just gloss it for that. So, uh, we make it to the dragon. Uh, call him over into the room. <coughs> um, so we can go and deal with the mimic. I didn't know at this point that, um, he was all that new. <laughs> Thought he might have had at least a root of entry into the game. So, uh, get rid of the table and chairs so he can fight the mimic. And then, this happens. Oh dear. Death by Mimic <laughs> in 2017. <laughs> Mimic's confirmed OP. So yeah, that was the fun I've been having with Mal Maker's Covenant at, um, at the High Wall of Lothric. I suggest everyone give it a try. Um, if you're sick of twinking or meta-level invasions, give low-level, non-twink, Mal Maker's a go. You'll, you'll be surprised how much you get summoned. Alright, thanks everyone. Bye.